after all this time plus two 150 base power last respects probably doesn't ko but it's certainly a two shot and a large soda incredible we did it we are back on the ranked ladder what is my rank not good we're gonna fix it so I built this team. It's not the dog in me. It's got the wrong name. We'll, we'll fix the name before we make it like a real code, but we are using Houndstone, and it's a pretty cool Houndstone team. Uh, it's Howl, Snarl, Will-O-Wisp, and Last Respects, and the entire idea behind this team is uh, Houndstone's gonna go ahead and power up everything next to it with Howl, and then in the end game, hopefully, we'll end up in a situation where they just ignored Houndstone way too long, and we get to pick up KOs with Last Respects. If you're watching the video, and you enjoy the same point in time, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and uh, comment down below what you think about Houndstone. This channel is partnered with Gamersubs. If you want to support my work and get great tasting drinks, you can order Gamersubs through my link in the description down below or with code MOXIEBOOSTER at checkout for 10% off. Gamersubs is a caffeinated product that I recommend only to my 18 plus viewers, but my link will send you to their caffeine-free product section just in case. Every product purchased through my link supports my channel financially, so I'd really appreciate the support. Now back to the video. Uh, do 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 Against my better judgment, we can actually get away with it this game. Do I bring Lando? I think I bring Lando, but I'm kind of iffy about it. I'd also make a case for Golden Go and Roaring Moon. Let's go Roaring Moon over Lando. Butter dog. The dog with the butter. Okay, so this is kind of weird. I think here I'm just going to go for a Snarl and Rock Slide. Because, like, the Sableye could quash me, right? I also don't want to burn the Terra. You know what? Let's just Howl. Knock off. I don't see them going for Terra Fairy here. Yeah. No burn either. Cool, we'll eat that up. I did pretty decent damage, especially knocking off the specs. Everything's now within Snarl range. Uh, We'll go for the Snarl here. I think we'll KO just in case we don't. I will still Rock Slide. I can Terra Fairy if I want, but then I'm prone to getting burned, so I'm not. Yeah, no, that's that's why we didn't Terra Fairy there. Our opponent wasn't aware that that was a reason to not Terra Fairy, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> go for another D Gleam. It'll just bounce off a of T-Tar here. T-Tar's so bulky, bro. <laughs> He's actually so bulky. Dang, is my Houndstone going to get burned? I don't get to do last respect stuff if he gets burned. At least not well, you know? I can do it well. There's Oki Doggo. Uh, we can burn you. And honestly, looking at the rest of the team that they have, I get more value out of other Pokemon, so I'm not going to bother saving him. Yeah, I'm going to bother saving him. We're fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, you know what? I'll take it. I mean, I know Reflect's up, but this is still plus one, so it's going to hurt. Wow. Not even a two shot. I'm a little bit saddened by that, but I should be able to KO that Ting Lu with another one. But I'm willing to bet here that he's just going to Terra anyways. So I'm going to do this. Cool. All right. Connect the Will-O-Wisp. Awesome. Good chunk of damage there with the high horsepower too. Let's go for the knockoff. We already ate our berry, so we're going to eat that up like it's nothing. And they heavy slam us. T-Tard is like heavy as hell, dude. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make a bet here. They always protect the Okie Doggy, so I'm just going to Howl and High Horsepower this thing. Nice. I love when I'm right. It feels good. He's got that dog in him. There are two dogs on the field, but only one of them has that dog in him. All right. I know the sand is gone. However, Houndstone's still very funny. We're at plus two, right? Yes. I'm going to Last Respects you and also high horsepower you. And if I'm lucky, they'll just poison jab this T-Tar and I get to get a really fun KO. Yeah, because that doesn't do anything. So the thing with Houndstone is Last Respects deals literally no damage, even if you're at plus two to anything, unless something has dropped. Nice. Yeah, a lot of you guys don't know this, but Howl just adds a dog into the Pokemon. You know when people say, oh, he's got that dog in him? No, no, like you literally just... Houndstone takes the soul of a dog and puts it inside of him and the partner. 
He's adding dogs, and then another dog, and then another dog. <laughs> cool. This is like the matchup I've been wanting since we started the stream. Oh my god. Gimme, 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 gimme. Do I leave you at home? Yes, I do, and I bring you instead. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> there is no wrong lead for me. It, it, like, it, Tyranitar Houndstone is safe here, as long as there isn't like a Heatran. As long as there isn't like a Heatran. 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 Heatran Rillaboom? This is what I meant. Like, I always get a burn on the Rillaboom. And I get in my Lando. The next turn I can go for uh for Howl. And I don't even click rock I don't even click like stomping tantrum, I just rock slide. If you use black glasses can gamut anytime soon, you need to call him Johnny Cage. I should. International love? Yeah, dude. You put it down like New York City. And then you just kowtow cleave something. Oh, they know where the threat is. I have a feeling we're not gonna get to keep our houndstone by the end of this turn. They didn't even bother with the fake out. They said I hate you, houndstone. I hate you. Don't burn me. Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to go for the Howl here. Ooh, I could go hard T-Tar and ruin his day. I think T-Tar goes nuts. That's a bur Yeah, no, we, we go hard T-Tar and Howl. Because they should Terra or just protect. And I would protect first to scout. Because they are Terra Fairy. Good to know. Good to know. Get another Howl off. Or I guess my first Howl. Wood Hammer. That's going to bounce off of me, bro. Heat Wave. If you burn me, I'm turning off my game and going home. All right. I quite like this position. I think this is a really good position for me. Uh, let's go ahead and go Lando. And I'm really tempted to lock Terra Blast. Ooh, I'm tempted to Terra Fairy too. Because he doesn't have anything that hits Fairy types except for this thing. And Ogre Pond's also really good in the end game. Yeah, we're going to do that. Um, I'm going to click Stomping Tantrum. And also... Is, is high horsepower technically stronger? High horsepower is stronger, but we don't get stab on it. Plus one Terror Blast plus Stomping Tantrum, I'm fairly certain that'll KO. We also have a lot of speed in the C-Tar, so I think he's good. Ooh, I'm, it's getting a little iffy, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that KOs. Did he j Oh no. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. I didn't think he'd be faster. That's a lot of speed for a Heatran. Heatran is within U-turn range, though. But we can't click it, so that sucks. So we have to Stomping Tantrum. I mean, the Ogre Pond Endgame looks great, but... Man, okay, yeah, we'll Terror Blast here. If there's Scarf Urshifu and that's what they brought in the back, I think we have a pretty decent chance. All right, we still have Ogre Pond. Show me an Urshifu. Dragonite? Oh, we'll take it. Shen Pao? Yes! You can live this hit! I believe in you! All right. I think that the sand ends this turn, so we lose. No. Yep, okay. Time to play a little game called, um, Can I Live the Hit? I click high horse. I, I click knockoff for the for the meme, but I think we can just barely eat icicle crash. Please, you're Tyranitar, bro. You're Tyranitar. Are you kidding me? What kind of T-Tar can't live an icicle crash? A failure. Are you kidding me, guys? They got the highest roll. They got the highest roll. No, <laughs> it's a DD armor. <laughs> Not thinking about my leads. Just just clicking buttons. Head empty. Play strong. Exactly. Like, there's an Ndidi and an Armourouge in front of me. A smart player would assume that there's Wide Guard on the Armourouge, right? I'm just going to pretend like there isn't. And it's going to work out. Terra Fairy, Knock Off, Howl. There's literally no way this goes wrong. They need to go... Like, if you're Chen Pao in Dragapult, you go for Choice Band, Dragon Darts, and, like, Sacred Sword into the Tyranitar, because they're usually Assault Vest. As they just withdraw, what's going to happen to me? Okay, this is fine. This should still one-shot, because they didn't Terra. Nice Intimidate, nerd. Oh, that's the other thing they could have done. Okay. Oh, it's you! Die. Okay. We are so back. Oh, I want to make a bold play so bad. I want to call the Terra Steel so bad, man. I want to call the Terra Steel so bad, but I'm a coward. I'm but a coward. 
I'm gonna go Roaring Moon and will o -Wisp. Cause they should, there's no way they go back into this thing if they're not gonna Terra. And I know he's choice banded. Oh, if I get Terra blasted here, I'm gonna be real upset. You definitely didn't Terra blast, right? Mana Force, okay. Stomping Tantrum, okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Bro's burned. That hurt though. I'm actually gonna go ahead and Tailwind up and burn you. I'd very much enjoy it if I could lose my um my Roaring Moon this turn and just start clicking Rock Slide. Houndstone is so bulky, bro. <laughs> I know he's burned, but he's also Choice Banded. All right, Roaring Moon should go down and then we can just click Rock Slide for the rest of our lives. Let's go T-Tar here and I am free to click Rock Slide and Howl. Awu, in fact. No, actually my artist Michael makes all the thumbnails for this video or for my videos. All right, I still don't see a reason not to click Howl and Rock Slide. Yeah, because this uh, Houndstone is going turbo mode. <laughs> Houndstone's turbo Houndstone right now. The Howl is always on Intimidate switching. Yeah, but it, we still get stuff out of it. We're just, we're not being like, you know, worn down. I think we're picking up a double KO here. Nice. Yeah, no, you can't. <laughs> Good luck trying to catch up to Houndstone when he shifts into maximum overdrive. All right, nice. We did it. We we turned off our critical thinking skills and we got a win. Zorark, yay, yay, we get to play the guessing game, yay. You're gonna make me guess? That's like terrifying, I hate. I get a lot of value out of these dudes. My gut's telling me that that's not a, that, 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 that mf -er right there is not real. That dude is not real. But I'm not going to make that call. I'm actually going to play it ridiculously safe. <laughs> Technically, that'd be going into T-Tar because they should never, actually, they would drain punch there. I'll just spike his shield. He wasn't real. No, he would have faked out if he was real. Oh, no, he, he was real. Oh, 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 no. Boy, I sure do hope that uh, this this Cresselia isn't uh, isn't you know slower than than this guy. That would suck. That would really suck. Yep, yep, that's what I thought. Okay, I am no longer having fun. Uh, don't you love it when you like come off a losing streak, feel really good about yourself, then get paired into close team sheet belly drum iron hands? All right, don't don't ice beam me. I don't need you to not ice beam me right now. Reflect. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. It's okay. It's okay. The bad man is gone now. All right. Pretty fast, bear. Unfortunately, Reflect has turned on, so... I don't see how we get through this. Actually, maybe it's better if I let him go down? Because there's two turns of Trick Room. I mean, it'll at least power up my thing. Oh, wait. I'm locked into Summon Tantrum. Yeah, I'm going to let him go down. I think that might be... Dang it. I'm trying to click Summon Tantrum. Oh, my God. Let me... I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> it might be better just to let him go down. Right, well, that didn't do anything. However... Oh, they're not Throat Spray. Okay. Good to know. Mental Herb. The Lunar Blessing here. Um, so my win con is really weird. I need to survive a Blood Moon on my Houndstone, and I need to go for a Howl here. And I have to Rock Slide flinch them to death. And if I'm lucky, they're just going to go for another Hyper Voice. Because Titar should eat that. If both of my mons survive this turn, I think we win. Never mind. You know what sucks? I didn't even need to Terra. I didn't even need to Terra my T-Tar in front of the... Well, I mean, I did to be safe, but I didn't even need to in front of that Iron Hands because it ended up just drain punching the Landorus anyways. Yeah, no, we're not playing that out. That's not going to work. <laughs> All right.
Yeah, I mean, it's a normal type. We can't even, like... We can't even go for last respects into it. Ooh, that is another Annihilate. I don't like Annihilate. I get a lot of value out of Moon lead here, I think. As well as you and you. Actually, I really could make a case just by doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, let's just do it. You could really make a case for it here. And I think I bring Roaring Moon in the back as my last. Yeah. Tornadus Annihilate. I would love to burn you, sir. I would love to burn you. So let's do that. I'm going to go for the burn and I'm immediately going to Terra and go for this Rock Slide because if they do end up going for Terra Fire at the very least to get big boy damage. Is Annihilate good again? It's not bad. It's never been bad. It's just like in a better spot. Personally, I think it's insane that like Last Respects is a move that requires you to get like to lose a Pokemon for it to go from 50 to 100 base power. Meanwhile, Rage Fist is a move that requires for a mouse to touch you to go to 100 base power. If they go for the final Gambit, I won't even be that mad because I don't have to play against an Annihilate. Get the burn off as they do just bulk up. All right, you get a little bit of chip here. And I don't like this situation. <laughs> I can burn the Rillaboom, right? But my Houndstone's in a bit of trouble. Definitely go for the will o -Wisp here. Let's go for the knockoff. I mean, it'll get rid of the Leftovers Recovery, which is really helpful. Yes, they are going to have a 150 base power move now because I touched them twice, but it is what it is. They Rage Fist. We should eat that up. Not as well as I hoped, but we still eat it up. The question is, what do we get more out of? What do we get more out of? Do we get more out of the huge damage from hitting it with uh, plus one Terra Blast, or do we get more damage from removing its recovery? And I'm leaning towards removing its recovery. Actually, no Terra Blast. It's burned. Yeah, yeah, because then we can send it within, like... Yeah, we Terra Blast because then we send it within range of knockoff from Murring Moon, and we'll be fine. Eat that up like it's nothing. Nice. Okay. Less than 50 boost per hit would be terrible. Make it 25. It'll still be fine. You hit 100 base power if you get hit twice instead of 100 instantly. Or make it cap, dude. Make it cap at 150. Alright. We still have some turns of sand. Um, We just win if we tailwind here. And get rid of them. Like, they can close combat me, but they don't get anything out of it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I mean, Rock Slide plus Acrobatics covers for everything here. Technically, Terror Blast is smarter because I can't miss. But I'm gonna. Oh, not knock off. Rock Slide's fine, we'll do that. Yeah, because he's Terra Water. I mean, Acrobatics into plus one Rock Slide, I'm pretty sure just does it. Because he Rain Dances. Ooh. Ooh. Could be close. Can I get a flinch? Surging Strikes. Alright. I mean, we have Ogre Pond in the back. We're good. Get in this guy. Let's go for the... I mean, knockoff does it now. And yes, they can, like, follow me. Yeah. Close combat. Beat that up. And yeah, the reason they never win is because they didn't go for, like, tailwind, so I just always spam acrobatics and knockoff and stuff. I just horn leech acrobatics. Doesn't quite KO, but it doesn't matter. Because now I just click knockoff into the Rillaboom, or into the Urshifu, that'll KO it. Get you out of here. Nice. Nice little crit there just to wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> sure, sure. Don Dozo with Sunroom. What even is our matchup? And I have to burn it. Like, I basically have to burn it. Let's do this. This gives me a few lines. I think will work. If I had to guess, the Dondozo isn't running order up if it's speed Tatsugiri. Alright. This is a certified knockoff moment. 
I'm burning you. Let's go for the earthquake. Shouldn't really do anything. Is there a life orb? Dude, what am I facing? What am I looking at right now? Definitely want to get rid of you. You seem annoying. Like, I know they're just going to heal off that burn, but... That's crazy. They go Torkoal. All right, nice. Ooh, what am I hitting? Oh, 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 oh. Ursaluna, no burn for you, buddy. This is going to hurt, too. Let's click knock off again. All right, what is this? Terra Fire, I hope? Yeah, we're good. We'll also get rid of what I assume is a charcoal. Yeah, how kind of me to prevent that bear from being burned. Very wholesome. Ow, wait, am I going to lose my moon here? No, we're not. All right. Oh, there's specs. No wonder that hurts so bad. Two turns left to Trick Room. I think here, let's go right back into Houndstone. No, they just forfeit. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, knockoff is such a huge buff for this dude, man. And it's actually a pretty good game for these guys. I'll take it. And finally bring Landris to a game where I don't have to fear like activating any ability. Because we faced so much Annihilate today. I think that was the third Annihilate the other game. Um, do I want him or do I want you? No, I want. Him. Hopefully they lead off with the with the Ninetales, because that's that could be annoying. Alright. Cool. That's literally exactly the lead I needed here. Unfortunately for us, Scizor is still a very scary guy. But also, there's no shot they go for a blizzard here. I'm just going to get in my Tyranitar. Or I'm, I'm just going to get in my guy here. Lander should be safe. There's no way they go for a freaking blizzard. I could break from it because I want to get back to it later. Jeez, that hurt. Yeah, we definitely needed that. Because that did way too much damage. It's got to be choice banded, right? To do that much. Let's just get this damage. Alright, don't mind that. Let's get in the Roaring Moon here. Go for a Snarl, as well as a... Do I need a Tailwind here, or can I knock off? I should probably Tailwind to withdraw the Scizor. What am I catching? I swear to God, if it's in a shot. Dang it. <laughs> I wanted to KO this turn, man. All right, can Roaring Moon live this after a Snarl? I really hope he can. Because you know we're getting Moonblasted or something. You know, I'm going to go out and limb and say it doesn't matter. Because I was just going to Last Respects him. So the Leftovers and the Sinistraw. Should just be able to go for the uh, Last Respects into you. Can I Howl with this guy? I think Knock Off is stronger than Last Respects still. So yes, we do that. I think we're finally going to get the end game I want where Houndstone just gets to do stuff. Yeah, if Scissor's coming out here, almost certainly. Knock off. Get that KO. And this is plus one at base 100. I think it KOs, but just barely. It's not a very strong move. After burn, yeah, we're good. We're good. They send in the Ogre Pond. It is Ogre Pond Fire. However, I don't care. Because my play here, 100% of the time, is to style on them. I'm going to go for the Howl and the Acrobatics. And I'm going to win with the Houndstone. Even though this is suboptimal, I'm going to win with the Houndstone. So I genuinely hope they just KO my, my Roaring Moon here. Genuinely, please just KO the Roaring Moon. Somehow. Look like Brick Break. <laughs> Click low kick, please. Oh, they're going for it. Cool. Yes! KO me, please. Oh yeah, buddy. It's Houndstone time. It's Houndstone time. It's finally Houndstone time. After all this time, plus two. 
150 base power last respects. Probably doesn't KO, but it's certainly a two shot and a large soda. Incredible. We did it. We finally did it. Yes, please pay respects to the dog. Cool. We climbed out of that awful rank hole. Did it take a lot of losses and a lot of wins, most of which probably didn't show up in the video? Yes. Yes, it did. But we still got to show off the team. So we'll go ahead and we'll make it we'll make it public. So here's the details for the team. Do I think it's good? Not anymore. Oh my god, no, not anymore. But it's really fun. It's a fun little sand team you should try out if you enjoy Houndstone. It's a really cool dude. Full details in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.